Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and tonight I wanted to pop on and talk about how protein impacts your overall hormone levels. Now protein is like one of my favorite subjects to talk about. I talk about this all the time and that's because it really is so, so, so important to include in your regular everyday diet and here's why. Protein, when you're getting protein in, talking about protein pacing, so if you have not heard me talk about protein pacing before, go on my YouTube channel, which is just Dr. Beth Westy, and you can find a ton of videos I've done regarding protein pacing, how to get that in, what to look for, all the things. But when you're getting that protein in, it's gonna have that positive effect on your hormones because it helps regulate your hormones. Really specifically, right off the bat, when you're getting enough protein in, it's gonna help balance the hormones that deal with your hunger and satisfaction. This is gonna help regulate your blood sugar levels. This is gonna help regulate insulin sensitivity issues. This regulates so much in your body, just feeling better, getting more energy, all of those things. And it actually happens pretty quickly. And you, you know, when I have women start protein pacing, getting out enough protein for their bodies, honestly, as soon as three days into it, they can go, oh my gosh, this is really different. Wow, I don't have these cravings anymore. Holy cow. I'm feeling like I have so much more energy. I'm busting through my workouts, way more energy with my workouts all the way through to the end of them. And I'm like, yep, that's, that's the protein. Other women, depending on how nutrient depleted your system is going into this or when you start this, you know, it might take a week, sometimes even two to really fully upload that protein into your system so that you're starting to feel those effects. So just kind of keep that in mind. It's not the same for everybody, but you should be noticing a big shift when you're getting the right amount of protein in. One question I get a lot when I start talking about protein and specific proteins for you, the amount that your system needs, oftentimes it's customized. What I recommend for one person may be different than another person based on your health history, other you know components you might be battling with if you've got a thyroid issue immune issue stress issue things like that so if you're wondering more about that there is going to be a link right here in the comments where you can fill out an application to work with me more one-on-one -on -one, and that's going to give you more information also about what protein number would be right for you to shoot for it's not always the same for everybody so but having the right protein amount is one of the biggest things that makes a difference when you start protein pacing. Like if you're like, oh, well, I'm eating a little bit more protein a day or I'm, I'm having an extra protein bar, okay, but it still might not be enough. It still might not be enough. And I'm gonna talk about that more when I talk about stress effects in your system. But overall, this is one of the first things that your system notices, which is pretty great. Next, it's actually gonna help balance up correct hormones. What I mean by that is it's gonna help with your other hormones in your body, thyroid hormones, estrogens, progesterones, testosterones, everything else. It's gonna give your system more nutrient, more energy, so that your brain body can help produce and maintain the correct amount of hormones. If your system is depleted, if your system doesn't have enough nutrient, enough, enough energy, it's gonna have a really hard time running the stuff it's supposed to run on its own. So by getting enough protein, it helps a ton with your other endocrine hormones in general. It's a great way to make sure you're getting enough nutrients. And last but not least here at all, you wanna make sure you're getting complete proteins, right? Um, here's why, because when you have increased stress, your body doesn't process and doesn't make, especially for women, especially for women, your body doesn't make enough non-essential uh, amino acids. So proteins are made up of amino acids, and these are the two groups, essential and non-essential. They call these ones non-essential because you're like, oh, my body makes them. I don't need to get them anywhere else. Essential, oh, mm, that sounds important. Mm -hmm. I must find it in the food I eat. Yes, right? Okay. Ah, super fun for women, especially for women. When our bodies are under stress, we don't make the same amount of non-essentials, right? So it takes this like like full complete recipe, right? That's that. Let's use that example, a full recipe of things. Like there's 10 things in this recipe that you need to bake this bread, you know, or whatever. Well, your body's supposed to make half and you're supposed to get half from food. But if your body's only making three out of the five ingredients, you know, of the 10 that you need, well, then you're still gonna be a couple short, right? Oh no. So when you're focusing on getting the right things, getting enough protein for your system, you're actually you know, bridging that gap, covering your basis here and making sure your system really is getting enough protein, even for the increased stress that your system would have, which then in turn will help decrease the negative effects of stress in your system. Stress running rampant everywhere can cause you to gain weight, 
inability to lose weight. It can throw off your other hormones. It's going to make you hungrier, get you cravings. So, so many, right? People can lose their hair over too much stress. You can get skin issues, gut issues, right? That stress, you know, inflammation in the body. There are some people that start to have vision issues, um, hearing issues, so many things from stress. And for women, it can cause your period to be late, skip a period, have really like heavy periods, really bad PMS because you're under stress. It can affect your sleep and how well your body can rejuvenate, right? So, but when you're getting enough protein, it can help decrease those negative stress effects in your system because you're getting all the amino acids your body then will need and that can cause you to have a completely different result. You're going to be able to power through any stressful circumstances a heck of a lot better and easier and come out on the other side in a very different place than you would have before. Like there's so many women, it, like, it, that's one of the things about stress is like you can't stop it from happening and how do you know and right uh stress sometimes just happens in your life but how do you know that you're not gonna oh, dang it I'm really stressed at work again I always gain 10 pounds when we go through this thing and oh I don't want to gain 10 pounds again great get protein that's gonna help regulate these hormones balance everything else out and then fight off the negative effects of stress in your system allowing you to have more energy and allowing you um, to be in control of how your body comes out of that situation. So that's like one of my favorite things to work with women on is that giving them back control of their bodies, giving them back control of how their systems respond to all this other garbage out there. So that's what I got for you guys today. Please let me know if you have any questions or need any other resources. Again, there is that link there in the comments that you can click if you want more information um, about what this would look like. This is also really helpful, I should mention, for fertility. If you, especially if these um, other estrogens, progesterones are really, really out of balance and you're really struggling with fertility and a lot of these things and it's also, you have a lot of stress in your life, this is something that's really important too. So again, that would be click that link in the comments and learn more about how I help women with fertility, especially when you're looking at mm, getting your hormones balanced and back on track. Other resources I have for you, my podcast is The Female Health Solution. That's on All Places Podcast, where you can subscribe to that and stay updated on all my amazing episodes that I have coming out. Um, and then books, The Female Fat Solution, this is on Amazon. And then The Female Menopause Solution, also on Amazon. So, there you go. That's what I got for you guys tonight, all right? Let me know if you have any other questions on protein, or if you want to learn more about protein, or amino acids, or all the things, and I can get really nerdy with it. Ha 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 ha, yes. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great night.